Uh, my staff, who knows a lot more about Oscars than I do, said we need to get John Sloss, and we are thrilled to bring him to you with Synetic uh, Media. He is the king of Indywood. John Sloss, great to have you here. Pleasure to be here. You are a tough negotiator. People talk about being slossed. What is being slossed to you? Uh, I have no idea what they're talking about. I think it's being fair and even-handed and putting the interest of uh, the creators and business people first. It's about the creative destruction going on in Hollywood. As we go to the Oscars and we see all the pomp and circumstances, viewers and movie lovers, you're there. What's the backstory you will try to be observing as we see this creative destruction in Hollywood? Creative destruction. I'm not sure. Do I? I'm not sure. I understand what you're talking about. That's an about. economic phrase. It's a constructive, positive thing of innovation and change. Joseph Schumpeter oh, from a million oh, years yes, ago. But when yes. you look at the constructive new new, whether it's Anne Hathaway instead of Steve Martin, to you in the backstory at the Oscars, what's the new new you'll be trying to observe? Well, it's funny. I had breakfast this morning with the with the chief content officer of Netflix. And every senior person in Hollywood walked in the, in the peninsula for breakfast, and they all came over to kiss his ring. It's kind of remarkable. I think that is emblematic of something. I think the youth movement in the academy is emblematic of something. And it just so happens that uh, I sell movies, but this year I decided to um, distribute one myself, and it's a film called Exit Through the Gift Shop that was directed by the anonymous street artist Banksy. And he has a tremendous youth following and that has been a big story in the Oscars as to whether Banksy will attend the Academy Awards. Well, let's so go. Well, we need to there, break there, some, well, John, we need to break some news here. You're handling him. Will Banksy attend the Academy Awards? <laughs> If I knew that, uh, I would probably be a rich man. I, I, I do not know that. I, 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 I think he's been welcome. There's been some back and forth on that. He would be welcome at the awards. As to whether he will attend is, is right. open to speculation. What's the new business model in Hollywood? I mean, I'm just fascinated by so much change. And you think of Sundance and your ability to take these, these people with no representation. You represent these people that have a dream and a hope. And you sell the movie. Maybe it's for four. Four million or two million seems like short money, but what's the new model for Hollywood? Well, the new model for Hollywood is, is, is multiple windowing. Um, you know, the people who do what I do now have a responsibility not necessarily to just do one big all rights sale, although those still happen to the Lions Gates and Foxes and Weinsteins of the world, but to maybe look at all the different portals and all the different windows and to take films and to sequence them uh, in a way that maximizes the exposure and the revenue. And that, that's a, that technology has created that opportunity. Tell me the story of getting the kids are all right and moving that forward with Annette Bening out front. Just give us a little backstory on the kids are all right. That, that, that film took five years to finance, and uh, it, it, you'd be shocked at how low the budget was. Uh, the cast was always committed to it. Uh, for some reason, it was just, and everyone loved the script, but it just wasn't coming together. And when it finally came together, I think if you look at the number of producers on that film, it must set so, sort of, some sort of record, like 20-some producers right. and executive producers and co-producers. And that's emblematic often of how hard it is to get a film financed and how you had to sort of fractionate the investment. We don't, um, we, well, John, we, we, John, we don't take shots on this show. But I saw a movie, a big budget studio movie that was appalling how bad it was written. How can the big studios get the excellence of the people you represent? Is the only way a conduit through you or can they actually bring them into their bureaucracy? You know, the fact of the matter is it's it's a fairly fluid system. If the studios are, are, are interested in that, they can get them. A perfect example is Social Network, which is, is Sony's first major foray into the Academy in a long time. And I think through Scott Rudin, they made a concerted effort to, to move beyond pure uh, commercial films into something that involved quali quality as well. And um, that, that exists. Uh, you, I would love to say you need me in order to get it, but uh, that would be a lie. Uh, what you need is the commitment to, to that as an end. Tell me about the Oscar ceremony itself. I noticed the ratings over eight, nine, ten years just sell, sell, sell. 
last year's show, I mean, I'm not a sophisticated here, John, but it was ugly. Uh, it's a real revamp here as they go for your youth audience, like the people maybe attracted uh, to Banksy. The, the new new of this Sunday show, what are you going to be looking for? Well, it's funny, you know, I teach a class at, at NYU grad school, and one of my students this year was James Franco. So Did he fall I'm, asleep course, in I'm, class? <laughs> no, he was he was he was very focused and very responsive, and um, so I'm busting my buttons with pride. And you know he's he's been back and forth between the studios and independent, but he's a real you know creature of the independent film world, and I'm thrilled that that he is you know representing a, a youth movement. What tell me about distribution of independent films, the DVDs, Richard Greenfield just telling us DVDs dying. Is VOD your friend? This thing coming at the end of the year? VOD is our friend. We have a company ourselves called Film Buff that, that is has a cable video on demand channel and we put exit through the gift shop on it. We're putting all sorts of other films on it. That's a huge alternative. Like I said, Netflix has become uh, a, a giant substitute. I used to say the only difference between me and a major studio is that I don't have a pay TV output deal like HBO, Showtime, and Stars, which are huge deals the studios have. And the fact is that Netflix has come in and basically replaced those deals. So now it's like virtual, you know, cable premiere, but it's on Netflix streaming. And they have 20 million users, and they can pay the kind of money that, that the HBOs used to pay, or do pay. What's the Studio. biggest buzz independent film 12 months from now? Which movie are we going to be talking about one year from now? Oh, that is a very good question. Well, we're, we're selling a version of, of Kerouac's On the Road, uh, directed by Walter Salas, who, as uh, people in the know know, is a world-class filmmaker. Uh, with Kristen Stewart and an amazing cast. I think that'll be right up there. Never enough time. Um, well, John, we're going to have to leave it there. John Sloss, thank you so much. Cinetic Media.